Hey guys, here's a landscape picture that I made in Procreate and this video is a tutorial step by step on how I made it. So we're going to start off by creating a sun in the centre of our page and to do this you just select your colour and then draw a circle or more of like an overly shape, however you want it to look and you can hold your stylus down on your page and that will help the shape bounce into a neater version of the shape that you've drawn. You can fill your shape with colour by dragging the little coloured circle at the top and dropping it into your shape. Here I'm creating a line across the page and this is going to be the point where the water meets the land if you like and it's going to be our reflection point. Drag and fill your water to the desired colour and then on a new layer um, fill, that, fill that layer with the same colour as the water and then make sure that that layer goes underneath so is the bottom layer. This is going to be our sky. Next we're going to go into our brushes section and select the cloud brush from the elements tab and we're just going to create our clouds in the sky. We're also going to remember to go onto our other layer which is the water and create a reflection of the clouds in the water too. Next we're going to select the smudge tool and we're going to go into elements and select oceans and we're going to smudge the, the layer with the, the water layer and that's just going to create a nice ripple effect um, to distort the image and to make it look more like water and give a bit of texture. Now we're going to create a new layer to draw our landscape. This is our trees, um, you might want to draw a house, you might want to draw animals, you might want to draw something more specific. I just went for trees and some bushes, something nice and simple yet effective. For the leaves in the trees and the bushes, I use the cloud brush in elements.
Right, next we're going to duplicate this layer, um, the landscape layer that is, and we're going to go on to the transform tool, which is the little arrow at the top, and we're going to flip vertical, which will turn our landscape upside down, and then line them up at the point of like the reflection line, and that will give them the effect of the reflection in the water. Again, we're going to grab the smudge tool um, and that's the ocean's brush in the smudge tool and we're going to create a ripple effect in our landscape that is upside down, which is the reflection in the water and we're just going to smudge it so it looks like a reflection really, pretty simple. Before we finish up, we're just going to work on our sun a little bit. So we're going to start a new layer and draw the sun and then make sure you move that layer behind the original sun layer. Um, and then we're just going to hit the blur button in the adjustment in the adjustments tab and we're going to give our sun a nice blur so that it um, looks like a shine. You can keep du duplicating the layer and merging them all together and keep doing this really until you're happy with the blur slash shine that it looks that it gives to your sun now we're going to add some text um, remember to do this on a new layer this is simply so that any mistakes or errors that you make don't affect the picture if you want to move your text around you don't have to like mess around with the image in the background write your desired word or text and place it where you want it now we're going to duplicate the text layer and um, invert it into black so from white to black and that's just so that it creates a little bit of a shadow hit the transform tool and move it along slightly um, and it just makes the text clearer and stand out more. And that is our tutorial done. I hope you guys had fun.